moneylenders and inheritors. Due to the people suffer a lot because of ignorance and many other reasons. So, as to overcome such problems, the organized banking sector was established, which was fully regulated by government. In this seminar, uh, an attempt has been made to know the history of companies uh, that arose in 17th and 18th century. India during company rule in India. They facilitated the trade of goods between Britain and India by arranging import and export of goods from India. Uh, they import and export from India of Indian materials such as indigo, tobacco, ivory, spices, uh, etc. were major elements of agency houses business. There was thus harmonious relationship in the early period between the big Indian Businessmen. There, there was thus a harmonious relationship in the early period between the big Indian businessmen and the British capitalists, and the latter served as models for setting up industries in India in the initial period. However, by the end of the 19th century, the Indian capitalists were beginning to mark their independence by forming their own organizations such as the Bengal Chamber of Commerce in 1857 and the Indian Martian Chamber of Bombay in 1907. Of the railway roads and steamer in the 19th century play a critical role in, in the economic and social development of many countries. This advancement in transportation and communication transformed society and had a significant impact on various aspects of life. The growth of new infrastructure in railway roads and streamer in modern India has been a critical aspect of the country's development. Here is a brief overview of the dev growth railway. The introductions and expansions of railway had a profound effect on trade industries and commercialization of agriculture was an important part of the history of Indian agriculture. It was governed by commercialization consideration. Certain specialized, specialized crops began to have grown, grown not for use in haste but for sale in national and international markets. Commercialization of agriculture in India began during the British rule when revolutionary trends had occurred in the 18th century. Um, the British government commercialization India agriculture by their direct and indirect policies. The British commercialized different types of agriculture crops like cotton, soup, um, sugarcane, tobacco, etc., which had a high demand uh, in the market where increasingly cultivate the beginning of the plantation crops like tea, indigo, opium, rubber, coffee, etc. Uh, here are the... Yeah. Uh, but, uh, Real Bihagor, Manetomar Development, Polygulas were Poloto, Kindu, Bon Bumi, Rupura, Tibro, Hesa, but Tibro Manetoha Porisil. He got to me, Manetomar Ragaran and Hura, Kanko, Manabon, whom you brought me for Guri, Solitoka, Luporu, Tibro, Manetomar, who the Tiros to Havola has it. Yeah, come
For the very beginning, they try to um, combine trade and diplomacy with war and control of territory where their factories were situated. Mm -hmm. Um, the European and the British traders initially came to India for trading purposes. Uh, that quite a market to sell their finished goods. Uh, the, um, the great design of the kingdom had been offered in 1565 and it was taken by number of um, weak states. It was easy to appeal to their greed or operate them with arms then. The English opened their first factory in the south at Mastipattam in 1611, but they soon shifted the center of their activity to Madras. Uh, they list of which of uh, granted to them by the local Raja in 1693. Uh, in Eastern India, the English company had opened its first factory in Orissa in 1633. In 1651, it was given permission to trade on Hubli in Bengal. As it sounds, uh, it was not the case. The historiography of the first half of the 18th century highlighted the Mughal decline as well as the continuity that was seen by the uh, other scholars who contributed to its historiography for a long time. It was considered uh, an era of darkness. It is characterized by political disintegration, economic decline, warfare, and disorder, however, in the past four decades. A series of new regionetic studies have emerged, emphasizing the vibrant set of the country with different lenses. First, the 18th century witnessed two uh, transitions. One occurred with the uh, paralyzation of the Mughal Empire into regional and ever sub The introduction of the new land revenue system, permanent settlement, Mahalwari, and territory, and the growth of the land market. Um, one of the settlements was permanent settlement, which was introduced. 1764. Um, the Diwani rights were handed over to the British uh, 